Belmont Buddy Light is a portable, battery-powered blood and fluid warmer. The Buddy Light is approved for flight. It's commonly used by the military, ground and air emergency medical services, and in hospital settings to warm and administer life-saving fluids during patient transport. The unique features of the heater and disposable make the Buddy Light the only portable, close to the patient, inline blood and fluid warmer capable of safely warming and infusing fluids while also reducing the risk of air embolism. The Buddy Light can be used to warm crystalloids, colloid, and anticoagulated blood products, including packed red blood cells and fresh frozen plasma. The system should not be used to warm platelets, cryoparcipitate, or granulocyte suspensions. Do not mix lactated ringer solution, dextrose in water, or hypotonic sodium chloride solutions with blood products. The system should not be used with pressure infusers. Moderate use of hand squeeze pumps, such as those supplied with some blood sets, may be used momentarily to increase flow, but caution should be used when doing so. The Belmont Buddy Light system consists of the heater unit with battery compartment, a battery pack, and battery charger. The Belmont Buddy Light AC additionally includes an AC power pack for continuous use. The Buddy Light is powered by our interchangeable battery pack that requires minimal maintenance to ensure continued performance. A small five segment LCD panel located on the top of the battery displays the battery charge level. Each LCD segment represents 20% of the full charge capacity. To charge the battery, first connect the charger to a power source and place on a flat surface. Place the battery into the battery charger bay, ensuring that the five pin connector is fully seated. The charger will automatically begin charging the battery. LEDs in the charger status window will provide status information. It will approximately take two and a half hours for a fully discharged battery to become fully charged. To load the battery, unlatch the battery housing door located on the top of the battery pack. Insert the battery into the housing with the LCD panel positioned towards you and the notch in the battery housing lined up with the groove in the battery. The battery must be oriented to where the pin connections on the battery make contact with the connections located inside the device. Once the battery is seated, close and latch the door. If the door will not close or latch, be sure that the battery is fully seated in the correct position. Inspect the heater unit to ensure that the heater plates are clean and dry. Wipe off any particles or debris on the heater plates with a soft cloth. Carefully remove the disposable from its pouch. The disposable set is color-coded and key to ensure proper placement in the heater unit. Open the heater unit by gently opening the case latch. Align the red ring on the disposable set with the red arrow located on the bottom half of the heater unit. Firmly seat the disposable. There is no correct orientation of the disposable in the heater unit. Just be sure to align the red arrow with the red ring. Close and latch the heater door. Do not force the door closed. If the disposable is incorrectly positioned, the heater unit will not close properly. As a last step before moving to priming, disconnect the blue lure cap from the buddy disposable and then connect any administration set to that lure fitting. Note, it is important to install the buddy disposable in the heater unit before priming or running fluid through the system. Failure to do so may cause the microporous air venting membrane to rupture when trying to latch the heater door. First, hang and spike a fluid bag. Open the roller clamps of the administration set and prime the unit with saline solution, making sure that there is no air in the IV line. Tap the heater unit while priming to expel any air bubbles that may collect in the disposable. When you're sure that the disposable is primed and free of air, proceed to powering on the device. Note, do not prime the disposable with blood or blood products. Now you are ready to power on the unit. Depress the on-off switch on the battery housing to supply power to the heater unit. 
Correct operation is confirmed by continuous illumination of the blue LED after a brief flash of the red LED. Warmy will initiate within seconds after the device is powered on. If the blue LED does not illuminate, make sure that the battery is charged. After confirming that the battery is charged and the LED still does not illuminate, please contact customer service for assistance. To begin operation, first select the appropriate catheter size for the intended flow rate. Using aseptic technique, disconnect the red lure cap and connect the buddy disposable to the patient's catheter. Secure the system in a horizontal position on a flat surface near the patient, and then secure the heater unit at or below the level of the insertion site using the bedsheet clamp. Check to make sure that there is no strain on the patient line. Observe the LED on the battery housing. The LED is blue when the battery is powered on. The green LED on the heater unit will flash with each heating cycle. The buddy light will analyze input fluid temperature and automatically make adjustments to achieve a target output fluid temperature of 38 degrees Celsius. During an alarm condition, blue and red LEDs will flash and an audible alarm may be heard. For questions about alarms, refer to the alarms and alerts section. At the end of the procedure, close the roller clamp on the administration set off and then close the input end of the disposable set off using the blue side clamp. Turn off the heater by pressing the on off button on the battery housing. Unlatch the heater unit door to remove and discard the disposable. It is recommended to recharge the battery after every use. Remove the battery by pushing up on the latch of the battery housing door. Pull up on the tab connected to the battery to remove the battery from the housing. The Buddy Disposable Set is equipped with multiple safety features that can help protect the patient from unsafe operating conditions. As crystalloid solution travels through the disposable set, the microporous membrane located within the disposable automatically vents air. When transfusing blood or blood products, the volume of air that can be vented is greatly reduced. Operators should be vigilant to avoid infusing air, especially when using a hand squeeze pump during infusion. A pressure regulating valve prevents abnormally high pressure greater than 300 millimeters of mercury from reaching the set or the patient. If pressure exceeds 300 millimeters of mercury, the flow of fluid will stop Flow will continue when pressure is reduced to a safe level. A second valve built into the set prevents air entrainment by stopping flow if a partial vacuum is present. Note, after prolonged use, water vapor along with outgassed air from warm fluid will be vented and may cause condensation to appear within the side vents of the disposable. This is normal and should not be mistaken as a seal failure. If the system detects an empty set or air within the fluid path, blue and red LEDs will flash and an audible alarm will trigger. The heater will continue to function normally. Check to be sure fluid bags are not empty and that lines are not clamped off. The system automatically resets and continues normal operation when air is cleared from the disposable. If the system detects no heat to the heater plates, blue and red LEDs will flash and an audible alarm will trigger. A no heat alarm may be caused by a failure of the microprocessor or temperature sensor. If the failure reoccurs, please contact customer service for assistance. If the system detects an over temperature, the system will stop heating, blue and red LEDs will flash, and an audible alarm will trigger. An over temperature alarm may be triggered by repeatedly stopping and restarting infusion during high flow conditions. To resolve the condition, clamp off the line and repower the system by turning the unit off and then back on. Unclamp the line to restore flow. If you are unable to resolve an alarm condition after performing the corrective action and repowering on the device, or if the system fails to power on during setup, please contact customer service for assistance. The Buddy Light AC is designed for extended use of the system anywhere AC power is available. 
The internal battery is isolated from the AC power source, conserving battery power and protecting against overcharging. The system can easily switch from AC to battery power, eliminating any interruption in fluid administration. To operate the system on AC power, connect the AC-DC power supply to the AC adapter on the bottom of the battery housing, and then connect the AC-DC power supply to the power source. The on and off switch controls power to the heater unit from either the battery pack or the AC-DC power supply. When the AC-DC is disconnected, power will revert back to normal battery operation. Note, the AC adapter only supplies power to the heater and cannot be used to simultaneously charge the battery. The system has no internal, user serviceable parts and does not require calibration except to recalibrate the battery fuel gauge. Routine maintenance consists of cleaning and inspecting the heater unit, recharging the battery after each use, and recalibrating the battery fuel gauge if required. To clean or disinfect the system, first, power off the device. Using a soft cloth with water or with a 10% bleach solution, wipe down the outside surfaces of the battery housing, the power supply, and the heater unit. Note, avoid the use of abrasive cleaners, acetone, or other solvents that may cause damage to these surfaces. Open the heater unit and inspect the seal around the heater plates. If the seal is intact, wipe the heater plates with a 10% bleach solution and then dry completely. Note, if the seal around the heater plates is not intact, do not use the device and return the unit for service or replacement. Once the unit is cleaned, visually inspect the wiring and connections for frayed or worn wiring. If any of the connections or wiring are damaged, do not use the device and return the unit for service. When the battery fuel gauge needs to be recalibrated, the red LED indicator on the battery charger will flash. The recalibration is used to ensure the reliability of the battery capacity. To recalibrate the battery, first, place the battery into the charger bay, ensuring that the five pin connector is fully seated, and then press the center calibration button on the charger. The blue LED will flash to indicate that the battery is undergoing the recalibration cycle. When the blue LED is solid, the battery is fully charged and fully calibrated.